All right. Okay, let me just lower. Lower. Okay, there. It's hard for me to to vlog because I can never see. I can never see myself. So, okay, there. I'm using my rear view mirror, mirror as my guide to see if I am in frame. So, aloha, friends. I am going to start. Oh, there's Danny. Hello. It's hula day for Danny. So, I go to hula um, as much day as she's open. <laughs> um, family goes to hula. So, anyways, I wanted to start vlogging again. But this time for myself, like I'm vlogging me and what I'm doing before I used to vlog the family because we lived in California. So I started vlogging because for family so that they could see what we do, what we're up to. It was the easiest way and it really worked out. But now that we're here in Washington, um, I stopped vlogging because then my kids also grew up. Uh, Jonathan was the first one. He didn't want to be on the camera. I'm just warming up the car. And, um, but now I want to vlog because I want to be on a, like a 30 day transformation kind of thing, uh, just to, for myself. And then if, if, you know, the kids happen to be in my vlog, they happen to be in my vlog like today with Danny. Aloha friends. Good morning. 5.45. And I've been up for like 15 minutes, but haven't gotten ready. Just brush my teeth and a quick wash in the face. Um, I don't know if I'm going to upload the one that I vlogged yesterday, but I mentioned that I was going to start uh, vlogging um, so I can keep track <laughs> of uh, making sure I'm on top of it, stay on track kind of thing. I want to do a 30, it's a 30 day challenge that I saw um, my, a friend of mine do on Pinterest. Uh, basically being active and a healthier lifestyle. It's more of a cautious living. Um, kind of thing not, ne not necessarily on a diet um, so then I figured I'd vlog every day so that um, because when you do vlog then you guys get to see what I do and then I have to be basically um, responsible for my own actions you know just not be lazy kind of thing so anyways <clears throat> Danielle is just about to get into the bus but I wanted to show you my little I wanted to show you my little morning routine, so I always uh, prep up their lunch. Danielle's already in her lunch bag, but Danny is just a little smaller version. So this is just the Trader Joe's um, salad, and then I have some rotisserie chicken in there. It's a half day, so they don't need oh, they don't need a a big meal. And then they do eat breakfast at home, so they don't like to pack too much heavy stuff. They said during half days, but. And then I have my salad dressing, which is this one from Trader Joe's. It's really good. If you guys like a Caesar, Caesar salad, this is really like really close to it. So that I found uh, out of all of the dressings that I've um, tried. And then I put it into a little container. Danica or Danny, like I said on my haul last night, um, which I will be editing today, uploading. She picked this one up and then y'all also pack this and then my chips from Costco. It's a huge bag. So what I do is I get this from, um, I got this from Costco maybe a year ago. It comes in, it was in a three pack for like, gosh, I don't know, $7. And then, so I use it for cereal, but I also use it for chips because then it's nicely sealed. It has a top right here. <clears throat> so put that in there and then I always have a lemon um, at home. I've been doing this for a while off and on, but now for 30 days, I'm going to be more active with it and more, uh, more cautious. You guys are my witness. You guys are my friends to go along with my, my journey for 30 days. I'm going to do um, two shots of this. I was looking for a shot glass. I couldn't find it. But, um, that, but before I do that, you should always before coffee so i'm going to try my instant coffee again this was from the hall um always drink hot water like right when you get up so i just got up maybe 15 minutes ago and then i made hot water and then i'm gonna um put a little bit of lemon into my hot water drink that and then um follow that up with the apple cider vinegar and then 30 minutes later i'm going to have my coffee so so yeah i haven't to be honest with you guys i haven't been vlogging so much because my kids are growing up and they don't want to vlog it's only Danica that wants to vlog 
But uh, I hope this works out. So 30 day challenge of me vlogging and showing you guys uh, one, my activity. So I have my Apple Watch and then I also monitored my sleep last night. So I basically got a head start yesterday. I didn't eat any sweets. Um, wasn't as active though because I've been like really losing sleep. I've All been... right friends, I just dropped off Danny. It is 7.30. 7.30, currently 37 degrees, and I'm all actually dressed up. Well, dressed up to, to be active. I just put on the same, um, took a body shower, put a just a little powder, powder makeup for my face, because let's face it, I can't be walking around with not even a ounce of uh, makeup because it's just scary. But, um... Pacific Northwest, and I think this is why I am the way I am. Over here, we have to um, we have to basically base our schedule onto the weather, like based on the weather. We do things based on the weather. Okay, that's how I need to say it. Because I'm currently ready. Like hubby is home from his business trip. His um, his with Danica, so then I don't have to worry about Danica. Usually, I don't really have to worry about Danica, anyways, because Jonathan, um. Jonathan's college classes he's 17 but um they're like during the afternoon or evening so Danica always has somebody there and then um hubby works from home so I can actually do something like right now when when I drop off Danny she's my second second school child that that I watch over kind of thing like you know I gotta make sure that she's in the bus making sure that um I drive her some you know like Danielle I drive her sometimes in the morning but i'm gonna show you guys but even though i would want to first of all it's still 37 degrees it's beautiful but it's like it's cold and i'm gonna get soaking wet if i decide to go running like because i honestly wanted to not do like a 5k or anything but i wanted to get my heart pumping okay friends so this is my everyday view um no one's behind me so there's the rear view mirror no car behind me. I'm not using a tripod, so excuse me. <laughs> but um, this is my view. This this is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna um, walk around the the waterfront for a little bit because one, I really want to get my heart pumping for the day. And if I go back home, you know what I mean. It's just like a chore, like I did. Like I just dropped off Danny, and then I gotta go home and. So we gotta we gotta find something to get us out of our funk. Okay. Let's go over there. There's a ferry coming in. It's actually not bad of a drizzle. I can actually walk this or jog this, hop this. <laughs> I don't really run. But um it's that it's cold. It's like about 37, 35, 37 degrees. It's beautiful. Whew. Oh wow. Um it wasn't like this before. You could actually go down here and walk. So I don't know if the city put up these um, these rocks. Because before this was actually open. And you can go down and walk walk a bit. There was a lot more sand. So maybe they put this up here so that um so that we don't we don't do that. There's the ferry. The camera's getting a little wet. Zap. Absolutely gorgeous. I love where we live. I need to spend more time outdoors actually and, and take it in. But right now I'm just whew, breathing it in. Whew, breathing it in. Okay, I'm getting a little wet and it's it's freezing. It's cold. Um, I'm I want to dress like this every day for 30 days so that while I'm waiting in the car, instead of just waiting in the car and being on Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest. I can actually go walk like because I'm constantly taking the kids to their activities then I can walk around for usually their activities is about 45 minutes or an hour then I can do a 45 minute or one hour jog or walk so that's what I'm gonna do for 30 days Woo! okay I gotta go I gotta go it's cold and it's windy okay I cannot walk this or run this actually Walking to the car. It's still freezing temperature. Ooh. All right, friends. Rush, rush, rush. Everything I do is like rush. So really, it's just, it's always rush. 
but this is my breakfast and it's just the Quaker Oats um, the one minute Quaker Oats into the microwave and I put almond milk in here and what I'm going to do is I just open this up this is the Trader Joe's crunchy salted peanut butter with um, flax and chia seeds and then um, add just a little bit of cinnamon um, I find that cinnamon just makes bland flavoring taste better and no sugar that's all so that's all and then I'm gonna put in a cup because hubby is in the car with Danica and we're gonna go to Ikea um, this morning with uh, with Miss Mary all right we are having what what do you call this snow rain Snowing. slush it's just snowing now it's snowing oh it is snowing yeah, this is but then it's raining and snowing at the same time can no, you have that just straight snow just straight snow <laughs> JSS, but. just straight snow. <laughs> we are on our way to Ikea. It's This is why it was freezing this morning. Oh, it is. Like, you can see the snow flurries. Wow, there it is. Whoa. Okay. So, so I left snow to come to snow. Oh, yeah, he just came back from D.C. Oh. Yeah. Thanks yeah. a lot, Jacob, for bringing it. Yeah, yeah he brought it because it started snowing last night. Yeah. Yeah. We may need to turn back. Okay. It's starting to stick on the, on the grass. Yeah, we may need to because turn if back. The, if the temperature continues to drop, it's going to stick. Because look how it, this is a blizzard. Okay, so. I'm just going to look at the. So we need to go 45 minutes away. Hubby needs to go to work for one hour or two hours, and his uh, work is like five minutes from Ikea. But I don't think we should go to Ikea today. Well, we clear, are going through a blizzard. It's clear south. That's the weird part. So we are at Ikea. I just love this. Look at this. So they just decorated this, and then on the inside, got nice curtain. I do have, I have this one. I have this one. They have curtain. Look. They have a little shelf. Cute. A little dining room. I mean, if you look at it, this is like what, 600 square feet? Somewhere yeah. there? Look it over here. This is my favorite. I like how this is a nice family room. Like how they did this. Hold on, baby. Uh -oh. See how they did the framing? Very pretty to display the artwork. Wow. Very. Hey, Danica. It's small, but they utilize every space to be really decorative. Yes, my love. I love to walk around IKEA. So hubby needed to stop at work for about an hour or two, so we're just looking around. So this is another nice open space. Did you want to walk, baby? Okay, yeah, come on. This is one seventy nine for this cabinet. And I like, I do like the collection, the Hemis, I, Hemnes. I do have that one for my dressers. It's cute. Very homey. Like that one is very homey. All right, come on. One for like a little patio. That's cute. There's Noah. This is a very great concept. So you got a cubby and then you have this that you attach it to and then you have these. Um, it's $10 for this, $9 for this. Now you have one, two, three shelves. Pretty cool. Ikea is so cool. Lots of cool stuff at Ikea. Right, this <laughs> one's pretty. I love how Ikea has their room set up. Like you can actually just move in. So this is nice and open. Yeah, and I like how they make it messy, not just like catalog pretty to where it's perfect. It's like lived in because look, you're looking at the counter and you're seeing like the family stuff that they can do, right? With the lettuce, <laughs> that's so cute, lettuce, like all these stuff that they can do, see? Oh, okay. So you can't burn yourself. 
So this is the other room that I like. Oh, no. There's a patio here? Yeah. I love patio. how they do these little rooms. Okay. <gasps> Look at the outdoor patio. Oh. Oh, wow. So pretty. Jacob wants to do that one. The last. For the, yeah, for the back. Okay, so this is one of my favorite rooms. I like how they did the um, the black brick. But also I love, this is what we wanted to do for the kitchen, the tiles. It's just plain white subway tiles and then dark grout. But I like how they did the grouting very small, thin. And, and then um, you got that and it's only $3.99. I'm actually gonna pick one up. I saw this the um, other last time I was here. But I wanted to do something like this for like the mud room. So I like how it's black. Um, nice. Um, and then it transitions over there. I like how the black and the white goes together actually. Very nice. And this is not real good. I like how they did this square subway tiles instead of just the rectangle one very pretty and then i like how they have a small mirror there because then you just want to check your the bottom mm, i like it and then over here is the kitchen oh look i like the kitchen here it's just a small kitchen. This is what I wanted to do with the laundry room. It's black and white tiles. Linoleum? Yeah, you can get linoleum and just stick it together. But I like how they did the black and white. Yeah. All right, friends, uh, we are home and it's been, it's been an adventure weather-wise. <laughs> weather-wise, so Danica, Danica loves to um to play with this. I think I got this. I don't know if this is IKEA or Martha Stewart, but can I show them, baby? Yep. But these are um cookie cutters. Yeah. And so, and there's the shape, and I don't know if you can see that. But Danica loves to play with them, thinking it's her puzzle pieces. So she tries to put it together. First, the big one, baby. First, the big ones. Mm, like that. There. And then the big one. And then you can put everything inside. But um, I have Alexa on. This is my my Amazon. What do you call this? Echo. Hubby had gotten me for Valentine's Day, and then warming up. Um, I think this is accidentally in love, and it smells amazing. Fireplace is on. Another warmer over there. Uh, Jacob is just. I mean Jacob. Java is just enjoying his quiet time, um, quiet time, but I had to take a nap because it was, um, we walked, I just wasn't feeling good. I don't know, I was, um, I was hoping that I wasn't coming down with like the flu or something because I really wasn't feeling good. All right, so let me show you guys what I'm doing. Um, I don't have any meat. The only thing I'm grilling are just veggies today. So I'm probably going to grill about two of the squash all of these because i don't want to put it back into the fridge and they're really dirty so they said not to wash mushrooms but i do um the reason they don't want mushroom to be washed is because it absorbs a lot of the water but i'd rather have it absorb water than it being dirty <laughs> just me but um i basically took all the veggies that i had in the in the refrigerator that i've had for a while like so this is why i don't like to have um veggies go bad because Veggies are really good, especially if you grill it. So I'm just gonna cut it off here because the stems, which one's the stem? But this part is really not good. So I'm gonna take out the ones that's really not good and then cut it in half and then go ahead and grill it um, from this way down. And then I had some asparagus and they're really the thin ones. So I'm gonna add that in there along with red onions, some of the bell peppers, and that's it. So I'm gonna have that um just season it with salt and pepper and a little bit of the crushed red pepper and then also add some of this uh trader joe's organic red wine and olive oil just to flavor it and then i'll have that for for us to last for the week and add it on to our main dishes so spring is supposed to be here second day of spring but it is freezing temperature 
cold out. We had like a little blizzard today, but I want to show you guys how ghetto my um my grill is. Hubby will not get rid of it. We have we just bought this like less than a year before we moved here and it went through the U-Haul and then the first winter here it flipped over twice because we had a really windy windy storm. But see it has no legs so hubby put those boards and it's so wobbly and he will not get rid of it for nothing but i told him because there's like a once a year trash pickup here and everybody everybody like puts all their junk on the curb so that's when i'm gonna put this out there while he's at work <laughs> and then just get him a new one for um early father's day because there's just no need so isn't that beautiful when you grill veggies? There's no meat in here. It's not like I'm planning to eat vegetarian or anything and I love my meat, but I kind of want to get salmon over at Costco. So here's the mushroom. I just cut it in half, had some um, of the vinaigrette and then um, the seasoning, um, Johnny seasoning, just a little bit. And then a little bit more of uh, olive oil and salt and pepper. So not too much salt because the Johnny's seasoning is already salty. <laughs> we have our PJs on to stay comfy. It's a flannel, of course, but I bought this over, I think, at the Daiso. Daiso is a Japanese dollar dollar store. Got that. So, friends, um, I don't know. Like today was good. Like I didn't have. I actually had two chips, like two pieces of. Um, Doritos because I just had like the munchies <laughs> but I told myself just two just to taste it and then I had one Calberry egg chocolate the, the small ones the the little bitty ones that comes in like a blue bag other than that then the little piece of hot dog from Ikea not the whole hot dog it was like this piece other than that I stayed on track although I do need to drink more water because the, um, the lemon water that I brought into my hydro flask um, was actually very sour. So I couldn't even drink it. But... Um, yeah, I mean, I felt good. Like, kind of... I want to look at food in another, another way. Like, I want food to nourish me. Not crave food. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting to the point that because of age, it's hard for me to lose the weight. Um, the baby weight. This is my baby weight from Danica. With Danica, I gain about 50, I think 50 pounds, and I still have to yet, uh, yet to lose all of the baby weight. But it's not, you know. I'm like, Danica! She's like, you're so cute. You took all my cuteness. Did you? No. But, yeah, it's not her fault, of course. But spring is here. Now, uh, my studio is, like, chaotically messy. I've been making signs. So, like, prepping it up, I need to go downstairs and start sanding. Maybe I can show you guys that when I'm, like, I can talk to you while I'm making my signs. But um, I don't do signs during the winter because the garage is, like, freezingly cold. It's just cold. It's cold. It's hard to do anything. That's another reason why I fell off the wagon. In California, you know, I I was always like, um, I wasn't super skinny at all. I wasn't even skinny. But at uh, least I was active mommy, I because you can wear flip-flops every single day of the year. Hi, mommy. baby. We live North San Diego. Mommy, I also... Yes, my love. I also, mommy. You what? I all done. You what? I all done. You're all done? Yes. You need to pro pronunciate. You're like mama. Um, oh, this one's actually, I think, good. So, yeah, I, it's just that we had, we had sunny weather, so I stayed active. Um, but over here, we actually really hibernate um, six months out of the year from about mid-September until now. Even now, you know, second day of spring, and we had blizzard, snow and blizzard for like 10 30 minutes, but still it's freezing cold.